Elias, what a result at home to Buxton. Can you give us your thoughts on the game? Um, yeah, not our not our vintage performance in terms of how we normally want to play, but we showed the other side um, really well, you know. Um, their shape was, was giving us a little bit of a, a problem. Um, to be fair, Bridgie and the team, you know, got it got it right uh, within the first half. Great time to score a goal right in the, you know in a dangerous time for you know in a positive way for us. So right before half time, fantastic that we've scored. Um, and then yeah, we we put a real we put a real team effort in. I think the team were excellent. I think every single every single one of them, the lads coming off the bench, um, you know, that away for their their opportunities. Uh, Brian, Yui, I thought Yui was excellent. Um, I thought the whole team was, you know. So a real a real workman like performance. You know, we had to dig in. We had to do the nasty side. Um, we are young. We've got some young players, uh, and I and I thought I thought they were brilliant. Every single one of them. And I think the senior lads, you know, your your Mileses, your your Bridges, your, your Mackenzie Heaney's, you know, I thought the Aiden, you know, I thought they were they were they led the younger lads through the game, and I thought we were. Like I say it's nice to keep a clean sheet. Nice to win one nil. Um, you know, don't get us wrong. We want to try to dominate the game a little bit more when we have possession, but it wasn't that type of night. The night for us, and like I say, we we, we dug in and and. and Delighted for the players that we won. And last week's bench consisted of five academy graduates. Tonight's bench consisted of four, with Jenks being on the pitch. How have they settled into the first team this season? Yeah, I mean we've got some fantastic academy players. You know, some young players coming through. Um, you know, it's really exciting. Um, there's little things that they just need to to, to develop and, and try to improve upon. Um, and you know, we're trying our best to to, to do that. Um, but yeah, you know, we've got some. Like I say we've got some fantastic talent and. Some of the some of the lads who maybe aren't with us, they just need to be patient. You know, my message to those lads who train with Chris and Robbo and Pat are down within the, down at the, at the at the ground, they just need to be patient. And you know, we're going to keep a really close eye on how they do and how they perform starting tomorrow. And um, yeah, you know, they, they'll get an opportunity as long as they're performing. But the lads who've been with us since pre-season, um, they've been they've been excellent, and it's a fantastic achievement to have so many good young players within our environment. Paul Blackett, Will Jenkins and Jada Keck unfortunately coming off with injuries. Is there any early update you can give us? So Jenks has been struggling a little bit for a, a, you know, a little period of time and you know we 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 came on, on, on Saturday and, and did excellent and you know he felt that he was he was able and to, 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 to play today. Um I guess it's just maybe a, a minor setback on that in terms of his cough, so a little bit of a cough, but let's you know, stay over the next twenty four hours and how it reacts and hopefully, you know. Andy Morris works his magic as he always does, and, and, and he might be available for for the weekend. But we don't know yet, so we'll wait and see. Blackie just felt his hamstring a little bit, so you know it was important that we get him off. And again, we just need to sort of take stock of where he is over the next few days to make sure that there's nothing you know sinister going on there. And Jed was just, I mean, he, he got wiped out. You know, the, the kid just absolutely wipes him out, and I think you know, in my eyes, I'm not too sure it's just a yellow, you know. But hey, the referee did his job, and you know, he's took a whack, and yeah, he's. Um, he got a nasty lump on the, on the top of his head, unfortunately. Thank you very much, Elias. Cheers.